Hey there, my name is uh, Chris Jeffrey. I'm a co-founder and CEO of uh, Local Up. Um, I'm here with Nick Moore. I'm the founder of HungryBoiler.com here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Awesome. Um, so uh, Nick is uh, one of uh, Local Up's uh, licensees or franchisees with uh, what we call our Order Up platform uh, that, la that helped launch um, uh, Hungry Boiler. We've worked in partnership together over the past couple years. And um, so I'm here to ask Nick a few questions about working with us, about his success that he's had. And um, so we'll start with um, Nick. When did you uh, launch HungryBoiler.com? Uh, Hungry Boiler launched with Local Up Solutions in 2010. So we're just getting ready to go into our third year in business now. Why did you get into uh, this, this business opportunity? What did you see with the opportunity uh, when you first uh, were uh, evaluating uh, the opportunity? Yeah, the first chance I had to evaluate the opportunity was in Bloomington when I was working with B-Town Menus co-founder Mike Rowland. And I saw the success that he was having down there. and was able to learn some of the business model from him and then ultimately graduate and return to my hometown of West Lafayette and launch my own brand here. Did you finance the opportunity yourself or did you find some outside uh, investors to help with the, uh, your upfront, some of your upfront costs? Yeah, luckily I was able to find some internal angel investors from my network and get the project ready to roll. And um, have you and I guess they, have they uh, recouped their uh, initial uh, investment? Yeah, absolutely. They return their full investment in under 18 months. In this industry, uh, as you know, it's a, it's a growing industry. Uh, can you speak to uh, what you saw in the industry um, a couple years ago that, that really motivated you get, to get in early? Um, and obviously has, has been uh, uh, some of the reason for your success in, in the sure. growing online ordering industry. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first hearing about B-Town Menus and then hearing about the success that you guys had at Lion Menus at Penn State as well. And then Watching, or watching Mike's brother Dan launch Hungry Buffs out in Boulder definitely had a, an impact on my decision. It seemed like a marketplace that was wide open and obviously major corporations like Domino's and Papa John's were creating their own online ordering at the same time and uh, publishing increasing revenues through that channel as well. So it seemed like there were a lot of good indicators about the climate of that industry and luckily I was able to learn about it quickly and get here to establish my brand and start generating order activity. You mentioned, obviously, you were uh, working with uh, the uh, licensees or franchisees um, of the Order Up platform um, through Local Up in, in, in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, and one, one question that uh, a lot of people ask is, is this, is this platform uh, and business model uh, only for collegiate markets? Um, can you give us your uh, viewpoint on that on that question? Sure, I think that anywhere there are mouths that need to be fed and there are restaurants making food to feed them that uh, there's an opportunity for this for this kind of a business model to be implemented. In terms of competition, how do you view competition today? I look at my competition as status quo. Uh, people are used to ordering delivery on their phone or ordering takeout via mobile. Uh, so that's really the thing that's been ingrained in I think our culture mainly over the last decade or so. and trying to convince people to go to the internet for that kind of a resource is something new and something that takes a little bit of uh, ingraining into their minds as a, as a feasible option to feed yourself. But once people come to the site and see how easy it is to order and uh, get their information put in the first time, typically the second time is much easier for them to use it. And um, most of the time I get pretty positive reviews about that. So in terms of competition in this market, um, do you have any competitors? And if so, how do you compete with them? Sure, yeah, there are corporate competitors and uh, really they've taken just the, the opposite approach from me. I've taken the bottom up approach. We go out, we market, we do a lot of grassroots marketing. We're constantly here being a part of the community, a part of the culture. Uh, we're constantly sponsoring events on Purdue University's campus and being a part of their student body by donating to their events and charities. and. Um, that's something I really haven't seen a competitor do. So it's hard for me to say that I have competitors here just because they've never actually been here on the ground or I've actually seen them doing what we do. But yeah, I guess somewhere out in cyberspace they exist. And in terms of your, you know, I've obviously been around for about two years or 24 months. Mm -hmm. um, you've, you've had tremendous success thus far. Um, at what point in, in your first few months did you have that aha moment that, that that uh, you know, every business uh, owner has at some point if they are going to have success. Um, what was that moment for you uh, in which you, that you knew that, that this model, that this business could be uh, very lucrative and um, you'd have much success with it down the road? Sure. Well, I don't know if there really was like an aha moment that made me feel like the brand was cemented and things were just all of a sudden good to go. But 
we saw a really positive indicator early on, and that was in the middle of uh, November of 2010. We did an Eat Cheap Week that helped us acquire 2,200 new users in about five days through some really wow. aggressive deals and some really aggressive promotions. We were out constantly marketing the deals, and we did a good job of spreading the word about it, and people were pretty receptive, obviously. They were able to save money, and it happened to be a really great restaurant. It was Marco's Pizza that really led the way with a, with a deal of about $3 pizzas, and it, it encouraged users to come to the site for the first time, and once they tried it and they used it, they realized how easy it was, and you know they never had to be put on hold again, hopefully. Sure, sure. And um, speaking to your users and the, the value proposition that you provide the, the consumer, um, you know, what do you think it is uh, from a consumer's perspective that the, the value that you that you're driving to them is it the the functionality of being able to discover restaurants is is it the ease of use to be able to order a uh, combination of the two? Yeah, absolutely, a combination of the two. Obviously, the processes need to be as easy as possible so that people don't have to go through too much pain to continue doing it. If you want to feed yourself three times a day, you don't want to go through some giant hassle to make that possible. So uh, the ease of use is definitely a huge, huge factor in my opinion. Awesome. Um, and uh, in terms of the, the level of customer support on the back end, which Local Up uh, provides, um, how do you evaluate that in terms of uh, helping you have success in this market? Absolutely. It's been imperative. I mean, I've seen nothing but constant improvement since the beginning. It's something that uh, has been a goal to obviously take care of every customer to the fullest of you guys. It's been very, very apparent to me that you guys are very interested in making sure that our users are taken care of 24 hours a day. And that's something that is obviously very important because we drive a customer to the site and they actually order and they have a negative experience that can affect the long-term growth of the brand. Awesome. That, that's a great segue into my next question for you is that um, how is working with uh, the local up team from a technology perspective, from a business insight perspective, uh, you know, establishing best practices perspective? Uh, you just spoke to the customer service end of it, but um, those other three uh, components of, of what local up provides you with, um, how, how is your experience working with it's the team? It's been great. You guys are always very accessible. You're there when I need you to be, and uh, it allows me to focus on the things that I'm good at. I'm a sales and marketing guy. I don't know a lot about technology, so it's good that I feel like I have a team of experts that are there strictly to manage that and anytime I have something go go wrong I usually contact someone immediately day or night I've gotten responses from from Jen your your head of the customer service team and Jason um, one of the co-founders or whatever and he's you know always been there to answer questions about the awesome. technology and it's one of my favorite parts about working with you guys awesome um, what's the one piece of advice you would give other um, interested parties who, who might want to launch in their hometown whether it be a collegiate market or you know Fargo North Dakota Sure. Um, what, what's the one piece of advice you can provide them with? I would say to do your due diligence. Make sure that the market is something that uh, you're prepared to go into with plenty of money and plenty of resources to market the brand and build it from the ground up. Because if you go into it with a hands-off approach or, or take the perspective of running it immediately from another location, uh, that that kind of mentality could, could you know, lengthen your years on return on investment. In terms of uh, just some, some revenue questions, um, you don't have to get specific, but uh, um, what type of revenue are you seeing uh, only after your second year of 24 months? Um, is it north of 100000 in revenue? Yeah, absolutely. And, and what type of uh, chargeable sales in terms of how many dollars you're sending to local restaurants? Um, what, 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 what kind of numbers are you seeing after your second year? Sure, yeah, after our second year in business, we did uh, over one and three quarter million dollars in chargeable sale to our restaurant. So. Good wow. about food sales, yeah. Awesome. Just a brand that's two years old. Awesome. Um, now, now with that, obviously, that early success, uh, where do you where do you go from here? You know, what, what's your next goal, and, and what does 2013 have have and hold uh, in store for for Hungry Boiler and yourself? Sure. Hopefully, new ways to ingrain the brand in the community, more ways for us to be involved in the in the local restaurant industry as well. So we want to add new clients and, and get more. Uh, diverse inventory on the site so that our users have more to choose from. I think that's the number one way to keep them happy and hopefully eventually expanding into a new market with, with Local Up and what holds in the future. Hey, appreciate your time, Nick, and um, we'll check you next time. Thanks.